travel to Vanaheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rushes, that. Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. There is much I owe her. <laughs> <sighs> it reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, fish-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Freya in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Einherjar. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy. 
tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, it'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> you think he's really forgiven me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a oh. grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Yeah. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. <laughs> but so is privacy, eh? Huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. Fun. But there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. Perhaps. Doubtful. 
You know, lad, this excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods, either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hildas Vini said Freyr and Bigvir were captured. Who's Bigvir? He's a light elf, a former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife, Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. He's okay. told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. <gasps> That's gotta be why the angry are stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. <gasps> or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess.
I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hearty, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Hmm. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hathi's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildas Vini and the elves, who else is part of Freya's army? Not much army, really. <laughs> Although Beergirl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanier aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield.
We can get to it from up here. a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. <laughs> Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Uh... Come on! <laughs> the charm. They are not smart. I am does that. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> 
From Helheim. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ah, uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Walking straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from. Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good 
choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Looks like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Hmm. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodespini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp.